Guitar tops and backs are made to a radius for several tonal as well as structural reasons. In this video presentation, I thought it might be interesting to show you the process of making one of these saucer-like discs that I use to form that radius in a top or in a back. Guitar making is frequently all about making tools and I chose to do a presentation on this one not so much because of the complexity of making this saucer thing as it's a multi-step process that uh, requires that I make one tool and then another tool in order to make the tool that I need to make so it's kind of a three layer cake proposition. This photo shows the end product that I'm after the straight edge is placed across there so that you can see, although it's admittedly difficult, that there is a depression here. The radius that this is formed at is 40 feet, which means that the maximum distance between the straight edge and the center of that disc is something like 5 30 seconds of an inch. So it's not really very much, but it still needs to be there and it needs to be precise. So the first thing that I made is this board, which I'll refer to as a stage. You can see in the photo that there are three steel pins put in this, and they're in a perfectly straight line. The center pin, which is the shortest one, looks like a little kind of a black dot, is placed there so that the disc that I'm going to do the work on will be rotated around that pin. It's going to pivot on that. And the pin close to you and the one at the far end are going to be used to register that frame that you see on the right of the photograph. My next step was to build this frame. This is a track on top of which a router is going to glide either back and forth or it'll be moved maybe a half, three eighths of an inch at a time. This is going to support the router over the rotating disc. The rails on this, on top of it, are made specifically at that 40 foot radius. You don't see them well in this picture, but you do see at the foreground, you see that it's pinned. It's actually registered on that staging board to hold it in perfect alignment with the center line so that everything is just where we want it to be and it stays there. In this photo you can see the arching of that rail system on top of the frame. This was the hardest part of the whole system to make up because it needs to be pretty precise and the only way to do this is to saw it out on a bandsaw and then gently sand it to the curvature that I want it to perfect that bandsaw line. It can be quite a chore but it's made easier by actually making the arch in one piece of wood so that it's very consistent and then sawing down the center of it separating it into two exact pieces that they come out obviously exactly the same. The next job is to make a circle cutting jig for the bandsaw. So I've established this board here to support the weight of the blank that I'm going to cut and I've drilled a pin in it so that I can set the blank over that pin and rotate it. It's established at a 12 inch radius and it's also set up so that the cutting edge of the blade is exactly tangent to the circle that we're going to cut. So the blank will fit down over this and we'll slide it into the bandsaw and we'll rotate it allowing us to cut a nice clean 24 inch circle. And here's a little better picture of the cutting jig. You can get a little better of idea how it's set up. You can see the alignment pin more clearly. And then in the next picture, you see the blank set over the jig. It's been pushed into the bandsaw, which is still not running, but it just misses the blade. And now we can turn the bandsaw on, and I'll rotate that blank around and cut a nice circle. And you'll be able to watch that in the upcoming video segment. And now that the disc is cut out, I've mounted that on the stage and I've mounted the frame over the stage and you can see here the router is set up and ready to go. I've adjusted the router bit to take just barely a cut out at the edge and now I'm going to start the router and rotate the disc 
and each time I've made a rotation I'm just going to move that router in another half an inch or so make another rotation and as it follows the concavity of that track it will repeat the exact same concavity in the disk and you'll be able to see that in our next video clip as well And here we are with the dish formed at a 40 foot radius. At this point I'll sand this out a little bit to get some of the little roughness out of it that's left by the router bit and then after several coats of varnish to seal it up and harden the surface I will glue a large sanding disc in the center of that so that we can use that as a gripping surface but I also use that to sand out braces and various parts that need to conform to that exact same radius. Very handy tool about two and a half hours to build it. Check back again for my next presentation which will be where does a Ladue guitar begin? We're going to start just about from the tree. Thanks for watching.